The work we begin today enlivens our faith and inspires our gratitude. We recall the words of the psalmist, If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. Today is the groundbreaking for Sacred Heart Veterans Village, which is going to be a ministry of Catholic Charities of Shiawassee and Genesee Counties. Sacred Heart Veterans Village will be comprised of single residence bungalows, which will provide uh, housing for um, unhoused veterans. There will also be a community center, which all veterans, whether or not they actually are living at the village or not, will be able to access that will help provide them with support for their many needs. There's nothing like it that exists in Michigan, perhaps not in the United States. And I'm just so proud that Catholic Charities of Shiawassee and Genesee County is moving this forward and is really caring for our veterans in this way. It's a vacant lot. It was part of Sacred Heart uh, Parish in Flint that was closed. And then uh, the diocese gave the land to Catholic Charities of Shiawassee and Genesee Counties um, to use for this purpose. It will serve as a place of hope and stability for veterans who deal with the wounds of service to our country. A place where lives will be saved, where healing will happen, and where compassionate care will be the norm, not the exception. Thank you, Catholic Charities. Here in this area, here in the heart of the city of Flint, the level of partnership really speaks to love, and I want to thank each and every one of you, and God has blessed us all. This is a model home of the tiny homes that are gonna be built or our bungalows. And we're very excited. We're gonna have four during our first phase. And then phase two, we're going to have 22 additional bungalows built on the site. We sit down with the veteran and we talk to them about their needs and uh, what they, and to make a plan to develop what they need so that they can uh, transition out of these tiny homes into independent living. As a veteran and as someone that has lived in the community of Flint all my life, this means so much to me personally, just not only as a veteran and that they're looking out and taking care of the veterans, but it's my hometown, my city of Flint, Michigan, that decided to do it. There's a lot of cities and towns that um, kind of vote these things down and they get nervous about the idea of, you know, veterans in need. And so, uh, but that's okay. Flint will take care of them. We'll do it right here. We care for the least of our brothers and sisters because they're the Lord. Every time we care for someone, we're looking at the Lord and we're serving the Lord. And so that's exactly what we're doing with this. Our mission is the Corporal Works of Mercy, and one of those is to shelter the homeless. So we believe that is so important and it's part of the work we do, and it's demonstrated by the support and the love that we receive that God is blessing this, this important project. We're God's hands and feet. I mean, He's here, He's in our hearts, He's in our soul, He's in everyone, but He physically can't touch things unless he uses us, us to do that. So we have to do that. That's how it gets done. And it's more than just believing it, it's acting on it, it's making it physical. So I think it's part of our calling. We're not called here just to, to be good for ourselves. We are part of a community and our community is all.